Tom, hey, congratulations. A few more days, everyone's going to get to see Billy the Kid. I'm ready for it. I hope they are too. (laughs) Now, how do you like this version of Billy the Kid? You know, the youthful Billy the Kid. I mean, you're you're like a kid to us. (laughs) Well, thank you. Uh, I'll take that as a compliment. Hi. Um, Sorry, I'm seeing friends. Um, uh, Yeah, I I think our version, we, we have the luxury and the benefit of of it, you know, having eight episodes to tell the first season of his story um, and tell his kind of origin story, um, which is really a luxury because most of the tellings of these, this tale have been movies, and so in two hours you, you're limited in what you can tell. Um, so we really get to dive into the kind of questioning why he becomes who he becomes, you know? Um, you know, you're dropped into the action when he's still really quite young and you see the building blocks that go towards making him what we know as this kind of outlaw killer. So what was it like to wear the hat? Oh, I mean, the minute you put it on, you kind of feel uh, the spirit of the cowboy coming through you. It, yeah, it's uh, the minute I put that on, the boots, and then the kind of iconic coat that he wears, uh, it just felt like he was there with us in a way. And at which point in your life you were introduced to American Westerns? Very early on, actually. Um, I used to watch Westerns with my mom at a very young age. Um, it was one of the ways we kind of bonded as, as a kid with my mom. And uh, whenever I was sick off school, I'd stay home and watch Westerns. So they've kind of been a comfort blanket for me from a very young age. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.